This is Scott from the Javelin Tech Team demonstrating some new functionality in SOLIDWORKS 2015. In this example I just have a simple slider bar and you can see I want it to stop at each end but right now it continues all the way past. In previous versions of SOLIDWORKS what we would have done is come into the Mate tool, come down to Advanced Mates and use the Distance Limit Mate. Now for the distance limit mate, I would have to choose one end to apply to. So I can grab, say, this end here, and this one here. For the minimum value, I could do, say, a value of zero. And for a maximum, I would need to know what the overall distance of the slide is, and then subtract the distance of the component for when this face comes into contact with the other end. So let's take a guess at 16 inches and you can see it stops at that end but as we go to the other end I didn't quite get the right dimension. New in 2015 is the option to use the width mate but you have a few more constraint options in this mate. When selecting the width selections make sure you're grabbing the outer ones and for the tab we can grab the two faces on the component that's sliding in between that. And you can see how it jumps right to the middle. This is how the width mate has worked in the past where you have the constraint and it's going to be centered and that fixes it exactly in the middle. But now in 2015 we have a few more options. The next one down is a free constraint which allows this to slide back and forth until it comes in contact with those width references. The next one down is dimension, so you can actually give it a distance from which end, so say two inches from that end, or you can flip the direction and have it two inches from the other end. And this dimension is going to be a configurable dimension as well, or if you want to control it in a motion study. And this dimension is actually smart as well. We can say go to 15 from one end or go to 16. But as soon as I try to type in a value that's larger than the allowable, say 17, it actually gives you a pop-up and says what's the maximum value you can be at 16.1417 and so on. And the final one is a percent. So we can go 100% of the way to the other end, or you can say go 25% of the way. And again, you can flip the direction that you want the percentage to go from.